welcome back to the channel so we are currently at grace city phase three mr seth and yeah. mr george they yes. joined me here we're going to speak on this project you've seen it when we started i think this is one of the projects that we got the very 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 beginning from the removal the of the top, top soil, soil yeah. to the marking our setting our excavation all of it they yeah, saw yes. it and if you've been on our social platforms as well we've been posting updates constantly so today we just want to give you guys you know uh, a little top up on the updates that we have and where we've reached with this um property yeah. so let me start with the head of marketing for um royal kingdom estate mr seth Yamwa. what are we seeing here today so i mean like you rightly mentioned yeah this is one of the projects that we got right from the beginning mm -hmm. and this is the project that we mentioned belongs to a musician. Yes. So there's going to be a studio mm -hmm. over there as well. Now, as engineers here, so I'm sure he will speak to some of these <laughs> things, but I know we are, we are doing that. Uh, we've done a reinforcement mm -hmm. and what needs to be done is we need a plumber to lay the pipes. Yeah. Then we'll have the rubber go on the surface that you're you are seeing now. Okay. And then there'll be boarding for the external part, but I, I'll leave that to engineer. But we can see the progress mm -hmm. this is where we did a tra the transition video. yes i remember so if our audience would remember mm -hmm. this is where we did we did a transition to show you the progress the stages yeah and this is where we are now we just want to keep you um abreast with uh, whatever is happening here carry you along this journey so that you wouldn't see the building at the yeah, end of the, the day and say, oh, how was it How did done? Mm -hmm. uh, these people, are they sure they are, they are the ones that built yes. the property? No, 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 no. We want to give you details, yeah. right? We want to show you that we are we are on top of our game. Mm -hmm. We are detailed. We are diligent. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the, the ride. Exactly. So, Joe, so I mean, okay. like Joe was saying, you can give us some technical. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen after? So, the, as, as you boarding. said earlier on, after the boarding, we're going to cast okay. okay so you can see our cost aggregate and our fine aggregate are ready okay our cement is in the storehouse mm -hmm. the machine will come in and then we, we are good to go okay. and then we are currently waiting for the plumber mm. to lay the pipes for the kitchen area okay. where the sink will be mm -hmm. the washrooms that's the waste water pipes and then okay. the gray water pipes you just do the first fixing for the pipes and then we cast after the casting, after the block work, everything, he he know how to channel it out. So okay. you only need the first fixing mm -hmm. for the plumbing work that we are off to do. I see. Yes, yes, yes. That's interesting. Yeah. The, he 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 mentioned that the studio is back yeah, there. This is a studio. question that I've been meaning to ask. Is it detached? Yes, is it's it... detached. Okay. The studio is separated from the building. Itself. Okay, yes, okay, yes. okay, 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 okay. I see. That's interesting. Yeah. So the boarding will... We'll board the external. This one, the reinforcement is embedded in the bed okay. or the oversight. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to board the internals. Okay. So we are boarding only the external. Only the external. We, can, we only have one reduced level, which is the porch okay. at the back and mm -hmm. then in front. Oh, but apart so from that, porch. yeah, that's the porch at the back. Ah. That's the only reduced level. So that meaning it's, it's stepped down it's a step bit. Down. Okay. Like yeah. uh, okay. what we say, 150 or six inches step down from the main mm -hmm. building. Then yeah. apart from that, everything is everything at the is, same level. Okay, yeah, I see. Through. That's amazing. I see some lines in here. What are they going yes, to Yes, this is us? basically to pick up our level. We want to know the level to work around. So okay. we play, once we get our 150 or 6 inches yeah. from the top or from the front to the back, we want mm -hmm. to know if our level is okay. okay. And when we are casting, we don't, we have to waste time to put a level or, right. so we will plant pegs. Our, our marking gauges. Mm -hmm. When you finish pulling the line, everything is straight. We plant peg. So when we are casting, we know when the concrete reaches this level, mm -hmm. this is what we want. I then see. we start from there. We only ramp and make it smooth. Then we proceed from there. I see. Does this have anything to do with that thing? No, this doesn't have anything this, to do. No, no, no. This is just this to pick our top reason. level, where our concrete will be. The topmost part of our concrete, okay. yes. So it's basically to help with our alignment yes, to make yes. sure that the surface yeah. level leveling, is Leveling to be more precise. Right, yes, okay. Yes. So we're actually coming from phase one, right? Okay. We saw the project that is um, also ongoing. Mm -hmm. We've sure. been um, showing them updates as well, our audience. Mm -hmm. How different is it from this one? In regards, okay. regards to the stage where we are now, what has gone into it? How different? This is slightly ahead of that because here we've done the filling, mm -hmm. we've compacted. Okay. Yeah. But that side we've not compacted we yet. We've not even done the filling yet. Okay. You see, and then the major thing with that is that place, the ground beam is 450 mm. I was just about to, that which is bigger than this place. The ground beam, bigger. Yeah. And the ground beam is much, much more thicker. Okay or bigger than here. Okay. Here the ground beam are embedded in the oversight, okay. which is 150 
heaven. But that place, we have a 450, but the ground beam is 350, and then the rest is for the oversight. Okay. So we do the ground beam halfway, and then fill to where the ground, the level where the ground beam will be before mm -hmm. we do the oversight on it. So what informs that? Is it the, the, the type of structure? The type of structure one, the type of soil. soil and okay. that is what the structure engineer prescribed. Oh, so we are going strictly by their, their, their instructions. Okay. okay. Ah, okay, so there are, there are, there are um, prescriptions from the structural engineer yes. and then ones from the civil engineer. Sometimes. And then the architect as well. The architect as yes. well. Okay. okay. So everybody's playing the So we, we follow every, you know, and that place we have reduced levels, mm -hmm. as I spoke earlier on about here. Yeah. Basically, the reduced level normally do with maybe the kitchen area, the wet area, that is the bathroom, the, bathroom, the WCs, yeah. and then the porches. Yeah. And then any other place that the structure or the architect wants you to step down. Mm -hmm. So they will give you all the reduced level and then you work with that. So when you finish, it's not that like you are now coming to use block work to step it down or okay. not. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's, That's how it works. Yes. Yeah. Guys, I want you to take note of this, right? Mm -hmm. You understand that we are dealing with professionals and everyone is playing their role. Yeah, um, you don't want to go and get a mason to do all these things for you. Um, someone who, like engineer was saying earlier, they will say my or yeah. they have 20 years experience in mason, mason works, but you need the professionals, you need everyone yeah. to play their role as they are supposed to yeah. do. Yes. What happens is that then you are going to get everyone delivering what they are supposed to, do. to, to deliver, right? So specialty or specialization is very important. Mm -hmm get a specialist to do what they are supposed to do then you have what you desire at the end of the day so yeah. it's very important i need you guys to take note of that that we don't just we don't just give the work to uh just anybody, just any, anybody. we allow the professionals to, to work, work where they are supposed to work yeah so you can be confident as a client to give your project to us to handle for you so i need you to take very uh, a vital notice of this particular information. Yes, okay. very All right. Now, uh, touch it up a little bit on perfect. Wait, you okay. want to something? I wanted to, to put here. in something small. I remember my boss was speaking about pipes and their classification at the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, here we are going to use the pressure pipes. Okay. Over here. Because when. Is there you, a specific reason? Yeah. If you use a class O, which is the list of all the classes, and there's a problem or there's a damage down there, mm -hmm. you have to chisel or all break out the whole okay. section off. Right. But if you use a pressure pipe, they can withstand more pressure. Okay. As in the concrete or the mm -hmm. blocker. So when there's a problem, they don't really break that fast okay. than the class O. Uh, so we use a pressure pipe for the first phase mm -hmm. or the phase, uh, initial phase yeah. that is in the concrete or the block work. They can withstand any pressure. I see. So even that one, when you put it, you can even drive on it. It doesn't it, it go won't to, to break or yeah, just any. Okay, weight, yes. but it's, it's very very sturdy. Very and strong. strong. Very I strong. See. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, another point here. So you see what he's you hear what he's mentioning. It tells you that you don't cut corners when it comes to construction, right? What the expert advise, mm -hmm. you don't because you want to reduce um, expenditure. So you 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 might you, sometimes you are tempted to go in for what the that that's a funny part you know construction when you cut corners you pay for it yes yeah, okay. and yes. the 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 cost involved in remedy work is even more than, more than you that. initially doing you what pay is right so yes. much yes. to yes. fix what is broken yes, 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 yes. because what's the you point in, it, yeah. in acquiring the land doing I mean spending all you need you have to spend and put then, up the building then few years down the line sometimes even months mm -hmm. you start encountering these problems and you have to and, now and, go and, back and, and so painful yes so painful. yes so please it's very important that you pay attention to some of these details like yeah. if you have to spend more to do what is right now if you have to spend more to get the right consultancy if you have to spend more to get the right expert or the professionals on the job please 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 never undermine this particular area of the whole process is very very important it's imperative that you you always engage the right people and spend what you need to spend to get the right things done yeah once and for all now the question that i wanted to ask okay. being um somebody in your profession you have years of knowledge like you really know what you're about in this so when you're building for clients like this and they want specific things done mm -hmm. and you very well know that these things that they want won't help the building that they're putting up all the structures how, how do you go about we, some of these we, things <clears throat> there, are, there are so many ways of going about it, but mm -hmm. then let me, let's speak about only two. Yeah. You can either talk to the client directly mm -hmm. or you talk to the client's rep. Okay. Be maybe the client's supervisor, mm -hmm. the client's architect, yeah. the client, whatever, whoever is 
you're presenting a client yeah. you can let you can speak to that person if you don't have access to the client mm -hmm. you can speak to that person to speak on your behalf or right. you explain to that person who is also a technical person yeah. and then they in turn explain to the client mm -hmm. if he takes it fine but then you make sure you put it in writing yeah so that for tomorrow's sake, if there's any problem, you can bring out that as your you evidence yeah. and then you can proceed from there. I see. Yeah. It's also worth noting that um, it's one of the reasons why um, Royal Kingdom Estate as a company, mm -hmm. even if we are not the ones building for you, we still have we some still level check. of autonomy yes. over your project. Yes, yes, yes. yes, not yes. That, that's, we don't have that autonomy because... Um, we, you've not given us the contract, but because we want the right thing to, to be done. To be done, yes. exactly. So even if we are not the ones in charge of the project, our engineers still have the autonomy to come on site, mm -hmm. check that whatever is being done on the grounds is what they have on paper. Exactly. And that is why we always require or we always uh, tell clients that we need to also get copies of, of your drawings. drawings. Yeah. Yes. Because we want to make sure the right thing is being done. Mm -hmm. So for us, like I always say, it's not just about selling. It's not just about getting money from the person. It's about yeah. solutions. Mm -hmm. That is what we are about. Yeah. So if 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 you are you have other contractors or other um, people in charge of a project, we will still want to make sure that we are part of the process. We'll still come and give free advice. Yeah. You can take it. If you don't take it, we also have the right to stop work on the site mm -hmm. and this is for your own safety this is for your own good right. so i need clients i need potential clients to understand some of these things that's wonderful yeah. yeah so after the pipe works and the boarding and everything where is the structure going so after the pipe works and the boarding we are going to cast mm -hmm. the oversight okay as i mentioned earlier mm -hmm. we do the bed yeah the oversight bed yeah and then from there the block work will start okay again. all right then when the block work is started that's where you see your door openings mm -hmm. your window openings yeah. and stuff okay yes. well we can't wait to see the structure at this at that level i know a lot of people watch the video they're like is, is this not bare land that they're showing us like this there's a lot of things happening yeah. that's why we take our time to break down the process for you sure. so when we get higher when you start to see the building in its full form you would you know really appreciate the works that's going on on the ground so do like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't we will definitely be back with more so stay glued